Hello, welcome to my video on prenatal screening. This is a part of our series called Be Aware, Be Prepared, Be Safe. This is an initiative started to enable patients take well-informed decision regarding their pregnancy and scan-related services. So now let's talk about prenatal screening. Prenatal screening is usually performed in the first trimester. It can also be performed in the second trimester. What is first trimester? The initial three months of pregnancy is called as the first trimester. So prenatal screening in the first trimester has two parts. One is the blood test and two is the NT scan. So let's talk about the blood test. The mother is usually offered a blood test once the scan is performed. This blood test is called the prenatal screening blood test, which has two hormones which are studied. This is beta HCG and PAPE. This blood test usually detects the pregnancy or if the baby is affected with either three of the common chromosomal conditions such as Down syndrome, Edwards or Patau's. So normally fetuses have 46 chromosomes in 23 pairs or sets of chromosomes, 23 from the mother and 23 from the father. So the common chromosome which is affected is called the Down syndrome. That is when the 21st pair of the chromosome is affected, it is termed as the Down syndrome. So what we are trying to do in this blood test is to identify which mother is at higher risk of having a child with Down syndrome, Edwards or Patau syndrome. So because why do we have prenatal screening is because 40% of babies with Down syndrome may not show up in an ultrasound scan. They appear as normal as any other baby. That is the reason why we started developing all these blood tests. So when do we recommend this blood test to the mother? Preferably, this blood test is to be done in the first three months of pregnancy. That is from between 11 weeks to 13 weeks of pregnancy. If the mothers have missed their blood test in the first three months of pregnancy, these, these mothers can also take it during the fourth or fifth month of pregnancy. Prior to the blood test, a scan is done to rule out structural malformations of the baby. So this scan is called the NT scan. The NT scan, NT stands for nuchal translucency scan. What is nuchal translucency? It is nothing but a fluid filled space which is behind the baby's neck. This space is measured during a routine 11 to 13 week scan. And along with this NT scan, we also check for the nasal bone. Nasal bone is nothing but a bright echogenic space which is seen beneath the tip of the nose of the baby. Apart from this, blood flow to the baby, the baby's heart and all the other organs which can be visualized at around 12 to 13 weeks is also studied. So once the scan is performed, then the mother is allowed or recommended for a blood test, which is a prenatal screening. The initial screening report usually, usually comes around within a week's time and in that screening report we usually get to know whether the fetus within the mother is, falls either into the high risk category or into the low risk category. This is called a screening test and it is not a confirmatory test. Say if the fetus falls into the high risk category or if the risk comes as higher than 1 is to 250 or more then the couple is called for counseling. They are called for counseling and in the genetic counseling we describe all the other features of the baby First, we check the baby, which is all if the baby is normal or not, and if the baby has any soft markers in scan. So what are soft markers? When the nasal bone, that is, as I told you, when the tip of the nose or the nasal bone beneath the tip of the nose is not seen well, or there is increased nuchal translucency, that is, increased fluid in the, at the base of the neck of the baby, and if the patient falls into the high risk category, they are called for a genetic counseling. So in the genetic counseling, we offer them two different types of testing. If they are within the first three months of pregnancy, the confirmatory testing is offered in two ways. One, an invasive testing, which is chorionic equilateral sampling, and the other, a non-invasive testing, which is called as NIPT. Chorionic equilateral sampling is a needle invasive test, which is usually done by passing a needle through the mother's abdomen and taking chorionic villi, that is few tissues of the placenta and sending it to the lab for testing. This is 100% confirmatory for any chromosomal disorders in the baby. 
Whereas on the other hand, we do something called non-invasive prenatal screening. That is, again taking blood sample from the mother, that is around 20 ml of blood sample from the mother's arm, and we send it to the lab, which is usually not in India. We send it abroad for analysis. The non-invasive prenatal testing analyzes baby cells in the mother's blood. That is a high quality screening test. Whereas, in compared to coronary coelus sampling, that is a confirmatory test for any chromosomal disorder. However, we have slight chances of miscarriage when there is an invasive procedure performed, whereas in a non-invasive prenatal testing, there are no chances of, there is no chance of miscarriage. The second trimester. So the patients, as I told you earlier, when the patients have missed the prenatal screening in the first trimester are offered a second trimester screening. This is usually performed between 16 to 20 weeks of pregnancy. So we assess something called quadruple marker. These are four markers in the blood of the mother, which we assess during a prenatal second trimester screening. As a point, the first marker is alpha fetoprotein, second is beta HCG, third is estriol, and fourth is inhibin. All these four markers point towards a quadruple marker. Even prior to giving the blood sample, the mother is scanned for, to rule out anomalies in the baby. If there are major structural abnormalities in the baby, the quadruple screening is not usually recommended. If we identify any major structural abnormality or any soft markers in the baby, we advise them to undergo a procedure called amniocentesis. Amniocentesis is withdrawing fluid which surrounds the baby when the baby is inside the mother's uterus. So key points to be noted during a first trimester screening scan. As I told you, when you get a blood test report, it will either be reported as a low risk or a high risk. When it is reported as a low risk test, it does not guarantee that your baby has Down syndrome, does not have a Down syndrome. But on the other hand, if it is reported as high risk, that doesn't mean that your baby is affected with Down syndrome. Both testing, usually when the mother comes with the report says low risk, we only as recommend them to come for a repeat scan at 20 weeks. But when the mother comes with a high risk test, we opt them for, we give them the option for genetic counseling, wherein we counsel them for further testing. Let it be either invasive or a non-invasive screening. So the confirmatory test is always invasive testing. Let it be chorionic villa sampling during the first three months of pregnancy or an amniocentesis after 16 weeks, that is in the fourth or fifth month of pregnancy or if the patients do not opt for an invasive screening and if they opt only for a non-invasive prenatal testing, we would give them the option of NIPT. Prenatal screening. To summarize, the initial three months of pregnancy is called the first trimester. At this time, a blood test and an NT scan is conducted between 11 to 13 weeks of pregnancy. The blood test provides a picture of the baby's chromosomal structure called a karyotype. The NT measurement along with the patient's age, the date of pregnancy are used to calculate the risk for chromosomal disorders. The stage of pregnancy from 16 to 20 weeks is called the second trimester. At this stage, a blood test called triple or quadruple screening is performed along with an anomaly scan to rule out structural malformation in the fetus. If the blood test results indicate a low risk for Down syndrome, it does not guarantee that the baby will not be born with the condition. For your benefit, we have all this information and more on our website. Kindly log on to www.chennaiwomensclinic.com.